Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am excited for that. So I have a few unboxings that I am going to do. I think I'm really looking forward to this one only because I did kind of sneak a peek as to what's inside my box. And if I'm honest, I don't remember but that there's two palettes. Aside from that, I don't remember anything else that's in here. Um, I remember I also did three add-ons and I think one of them was a brush. The other one was like a lipstick. I don't even remember. I have the worst memory ever. I saw that I can do add-ons. I added three items and then I just kept moving and I just completely forgot about it. So this came in and I'm really excited. This is the February Ipsy glam bag plus if you're not familiar with the subscription service you do pay $25 to get I believe it's five to seven or five to six full-size products in order to access the glam bag plus subscription you do need to have the basic ipsy glam bag subscription which is ten dollars a month i don't know if the wait list is open at this current time or not i know people are having a little bit of an issue finding the wait list so i'm not 100 percent sure as to where you're going to be able to find that because some people have been able to see it some people have not we're gonna dive into this baby up ahead and I have a whole bunch of stuff. I already see two of the items that I did as add-ons. Oh, 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 okay. And now I know the three items that are add-ons. I'm going to put this box back here. See, once I see it, I'm like, oh, okay. So these three items right here were my add-ons. Now, um, I believe I paid $3 for the brush. $3. I, I don't remember. They have add-ons that are supposed to be deluxe sizes. And then you pay $3. And then full-size item, $12. Um, I believe this brush right here was a $3 add-on and I just wanted her because she's purple-ish pink. It's like a purple, pink, white. So, and she's pretty. So I wanted her. I'm going to add her here because I use her to turn. And that's a Farrah brush. That is the 50 Ep. Is it? 50 Ep. Then this here is the Huda Beauty Lip Contour. I know some people say, oh, it's so cute how you say Huda. No, that's her name, Huda, because she. I was watching her little show. I don't know that it's still happening, but she had a show, and people would call her Huda. And she would call herself Huda when she referred to herself as a third person. So her name is Huda. We all say Huda, but it's Huda. And I got the lipstick. This is the Lip Contour in Icon. Um, they had another shade, but I wasn't like so into it. But this is actually really pretty. My swatches suck, as you guys already know. So it's kind of like a pinky type of red. So that's really cute. I'm gonna use this to dye. I need to. I need to clean this mess up here. Just, just saying. And then the third item, which this is the product that I think was like twelve bucks. I paid um, more than just three dollars for this. This is the Beauty Filter cream glow by sun and park and i don't remember why i ended up wanting to get this i don't remember i just oh uh, the packaging i'm a sucker for packaging and i saw this and i was like well that's cute and different like i don't own anything like that is this korean it is it's made in korea and you can see back there there's like korean print so okay so it is hmm it's <laughs> All right, so I didn't even look into what this product is. I just said, it looks different, I want it. It says, the Beauty Filter Cream Glow is effortlessly absorbed into the skin, providing coverage and brightening to, to, of, to the skin tone. It also keeps the skin moist and perfectly prepares for the next stage in makeup process. So it's like a illuminating kind of primer thingy. And it came with this little spatula, which if I'm honest, I'm probably just gonna use it today and then lose it. Cause again, I have a huge mess up here and it comes with a little, oh. She smells good. It's a very nice and light type of scent. I'm just gonna apply some of this. Let me pull my hair back. It's supposed to illuminate. Oh, that might be too much. Huh. Well, we'll see. So it's gonna illuminate, moisturize, and from what it sounded like, prime my skin. I should have done the rest of the unboxing because now my skin is gonna have like this weak. That was most definitely way too much. <laughs> Lesson learned. A little will go a long way. Hmm. Okay, I think now that I blended it out a little bit, doesn't look as bad, but I'm like clearly a little paler. A little luminous, but a little paler. All right. So I, I like the smell of it. I don't know how great it works. We're going to play around with it. But it smells really nice, and it does give a little bit of a luminosity. I can't just wear this without makeup because obviously it makes my face look lighter than my neck. But we're going to move on to the rest of the items. I also received this product here. This is the LXMI Pure 
Nilotica Melt Pomade de something. So it's nourishing balm to oil. Is it for my hands? It is vegan, cruelty-free, natural beauty for humanity. Okay, so it's like a skin cream used as an overnight facial mask or throughout the day where needed. We suggest around the eyes, on the lips, and on dry patches. So I just put a primer on and I don't have dry patches, but we're going to apply this on the lips. The packaging looks like this, super different, really kind of like, I don't know, it's different. It's a little poppy, so that's kind of cute, and it has a foil. So this is a balm to oil, ooh, you, I'm not trying to be funny. You know what this reminds me of? Not the scent. It doesn't have a scent, it's like Vaseline. Okay. I can see this being really good for my, my hands, actually, with this weather, yeah. Okay, I would actually keep this in my purse because I can use it on my lips, I can use it on my hands, I can use it on my face. It's kind of like a Vaseline, if I'm honest. That's, that's what it feels like, a Vaseline. The next product is this one right here, and it's Myel Sun-Kissed Bronzer Healthy Summer Radiance All Year Round. Is there like a specific shade? No. Okay. What do you look like, boo-boo? Okay, so first of all, A++++ plus 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 for this packaging. You can actually use it as a mirror. Hi! I'm a weirdo, I know. And then when you open it, oh! And this is what she looks like. You get a full-size mirror. I like this. I'm not going to give this away to anyone, like, at all. Like, not even a family member because this is really nice. Let's do a swatchy swatch. There's different shades of browns, which I like. See, this is what a bronzer is supposed to look like. I mean, it is satiny, but not shimmery love it okay so we're gonna play around with that i also got another palette what are you this is the tarte high performance naturals dream big amazonian clay palette so double duty beauty if i break a nail i'm gonna be so upset oh the packaging is cute once again it's like a mirrored effect but it has like a design on it that's cute and it opens like a book oh that's a dog oh Okay, so the shades are really pretty. I can definitely come up with a cool look with this palette, and that's exactly what we're going to do. I feel like I want to do something different. I'll do the gold and the purple just to play around with that because I would normally do, like, the gold and brown or, like, gold and this cranberry shade. So we're going to play around with it, but this is a cute little palette for travel. And then next we have this product right here. It is a lipstick in a tube, and it is called Finding Ferdinand. Ferdinand. I feel like I've heard Ferdinand before, but it could be on one of Ty's show, uh, shows. So it looks like this. The packaging in the bottom, like it has a print. It's really cute. The name of this shade is Knob Hill Red. I have no idea what that means. That is a bright red. That is a pretty, pretty, pretty bright red. We're going to swatchy swatch her. I like the packaging. So it's not a matte finish. It's satiny. I wonder if it'll transfer. We're going to play around with her today. The packaging is like so simple and sleek and you can pop in. Look, pop in, pop her out. That is actually really different. Super cool. I haven't tried anything with this kind of packaging in the past. I don't know if it's unique to this product or there are other products that are similar in packaging to this, but that's really cool. Then last but not least, they sent over this It Cosmetics brush. Um... Okay, so this is the Heavenly Luxe Flat Top Buffing Foundation Number 6 Brush. It is a flat top, as its name. It is, look how soft it is. Okay, so I do not own a lot of IT Cosmetics products. I just feel like I'm going to be disappointed when I get it in the mail because I'm probably going to get the wrong thing. So I, I, I feel like I'm going to have to go into a store personally to grab specific items but whenever i look at qvc or hsn they usually have like a foundation along with a brush and whenever they have this brush i so bad want the duo because it's a terrific price but at the same time i'm like i guarantee you i'm gonna get the wrong shade in terms of foundation and, it, and it's i'm gonna be disappointed and it's gonna ruin the experience for me so i've never actually dove in and picked up the brush i know this is a pricey brush i'm gonna look into the card now but I really don't care about the foundation now because I got the brush and I'm glad that I didn't get the brush before because I got it now. To start off with the eyes, I'm going to use this gold shade here. It is called You Can. This palette is really pretty, like just like the presentation wise. And you know Tarte is going, 
<laughs> you know, Tarte is going to perform. So that is not the issue. I just, I'd like to see a tiny palette like this that is much more affordable, you know, that is like more reachable for people to actually buy. And then on the crease, I am going to go ahead and use this purple shade here, which is called Happening. And then finally, I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. This shade here is called Risk Taker. It is a little on the pinky end, but I just want to add that on to my inner corner just to brighten the eyes just a tad bit. Now that I'm pretty much done with my eyes, I went in with mascara and uh, a wing, obviously, because that would really transform this look and make it like super like cute and different. I'm going to go in and apply my foundation. So the foundation I want to use today is going to be my CYO Long Lasting Foundation. I've told you guys about this one. My shade is 112. And I've mentioned to you guys that this foundation you can totally find at the drugstore. It is really affordable. When I got it, it was only eight bucks. And I went onto the website recently when I was talking to you guys and their website says seven bucks. So now I am going to blend this baby in and let's see what kind of finish this brush gives me this is what it looks like on my face once i've blended out my foundation and my concealer with this brush personally i think it looks good I also think that I prefer my Luxie brush for the face to blend out my uh, foundation. The brush I'm talking about is this one. We got it in a, uh, what is it? <laughs> in a BoxyCharm Boxy Lux box. This is the Luxie 732. I personally prefer that one for foundation just because I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just, I just like the way it just blends everything a little more seamlessly now for this palette which i'm really excited let me see if i have a clean brush i should have a clean decent brush here hello okay all right so we're gonna start off by mixing these two together and then i'm just i'm gonna start off on my forehead wow that is um very very sun-kissed okay I do find that these pans are a little weird to tap into, so you need a pretty decently small brush like for the face, because if not, then good luck. But I am going to tap into this pinky kind of highlighting shade. And okay, so it, it does show a little bit of pink, but really highlighty in a gold kind of shift. So I can pull that off. It's really cute. It's not ashy or powdery in any way. So, and it blends out, it doesn't, it doesn't leave this white cast, which is wonderful. And then the last product I need to use is the lipstick. I can't get over this packaging, it's really cool. I will admit, I am going to forward this to someone I know who's gonna love it, only because I don't like lipsticks that have a sheen to them or that transfer. Like, I like more of a matte, like a really matte kind of lipstick just because it's gonna get on my teeth i can guarantee you that so i know the shade is beautiful but if it's gonna transfer on my teeth it's going to somebody else this box was really impressive so this product right here retails for at 30 dollars and i do find that it should be a little cheaper maybe like 22 the pigmentation is there there was a little bit of fallout um, but I think the packaging is so small and I think it's so compact. It would be a beautiful travel palette. So I think 20, $22 would be like an amazing price point. $30 is a bit much in my opinion. Then we have this product right here. I freaking love it. It gave me a nice bronze. The highlighter is stunning. This retails for $32. I just feel like it's worth more than $32. So if you get this for $32 or you get this in your box, you've got an amazing deal because it's really, really good. And I think it's worth way more than $32. The next product is this one right here. It is the Pure 
Nilotica Melt. And this retails for $28. A little is gonna go a very, very, very long way. Again, it reminds me of Vaseline, and so if you're gonna pay, and it has no scent. So if you're gonna pay $28 for this, you might as well go to the Dollar Tree and get the super tiny Vaseline, like little tub, it's so cute, it goes in your purse, super convenient, you can use it just like this product anywhere, like on your face, on your hands, on your lips. I just don't find anything super unique or special about it other than the packaging. The next product is this brush right here, the It Cosmetics brush. Honestly, this retails for $48 as per the card, and I think this is extremely expensive. You don't need to pay $48 for a brush. There are so many other brands that do sell brushes very, very, very comparable to this for much cheaper. I liked it though. I'm grateful that I got it in my box because now I don't have to like worry about like trying to get a deal to get it, but it's kind of pricey. And last but not least, the Finding Ferdinand. That's hard to say, Finding Ferdinand uh, lipstick. This is supposed to retail $30. I don't like the finish. I don't like this. It's already getting on my teeth. And the fact that I'm gonna drink something and it's gonna transfer, watch. You see, it's transferred, I don't like it. So it's not the type of finish that I go for. It is a beautiful shade, not unique to me. I do have shades very similar to this one that are actually matte. This product right here out of everything is the only thing that I am gonna forward to somebody because I just, I know I'm not, I'm not gonna use it. It's just gonna sit there, so I'm gonna give it to one of my uh, friends. All right, guys, that is a wrap for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus unboxing for the month of February. As per usual, my social media platforms are right here. Make sure you go follow me there if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.